Oh, it started in the in the eighties, uh, somewhere else in in Odense. and and I think it 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 it, it, uh, it has been running through the years, uh, slowly, and people are coming and going, and uh, there's been a lot of people like me before me to run the studio, uh, and I, f I also think our bus did. Uh, make the studio a long time ago. I think Ken Skov was in, in in that area many years ago. We are using Pro Tools here. Uh, um, we are using Pro Tools 10 now. Uh, and we got our preamps, which is Focusrite. And we have a motherboard called Digi, Digi Design, uh, which are very stable. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's in a way a simple setup, and uh, but it, it's running and it's running eight hours every day, and it's been for years, and 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 that's the one of the key things, is that that it, ha it, it has to be simple, but good. So because it's it's many hours and many different customers every day. From young to old people, who are who are running the studio, um, so so it, so it, so it has to be good stuff. So people come again and it, and they tell about it in in order that that you could come in here and and uh, have a good service and things always work. <laughs> That's a nice thing. So yeah, uh, they they just call, uh, it's an uh, old-fashioned way they call on the phone. And we have a calendar, a physical calendar, uh, where, where, where they can sign in. And if they are newcomers, they always need to, and we always write help in the calendar. Then I, then I know, okay, there's a newcomer here, and he needs help on Friday morning from 10 to 2. And then I, they are, then I give them an, an half to a whole hour, depending on who it is. And I show them how to use the equipment. And then they, from there, they, they run along, mostly. And I'll be in the area. If something is wrong with, goes wrong for them, or they got stuck, they just call me and I come in and I, sh I show them. And, and when they come in, you come, we talk about their projects too. Uh, maybe they come for, guys is a band or they come alone with a song so so we need so I know what template or how I should advise them from the beginning before we start we have a little talk okay if they are songwriter you just need a little template with a, a few tracks and and then you're good to go so and then later we can talk about mix perhaps or and if they're good, they uh, they're good to go to play on our stage, maybe. So uh, yeah, so so some of the customers we got here, their first jobs, they got on our stage. They got that on our stage. So and we're happy about that. This has to be my first priority. Uh, yeah, we had as a, some years ago, we had uh, some customers from a, from a, a part of town where they were a little rough people. So you can see our monsters has a little. Uh, yeah, they were they weren't that good about this stuff, but but over the years we have some. We have uh, worked them out of our system by by <coughs> by uh, by being there every time they were here and and uh, setting up rules for them so so that they know they were not alone in here. I have a key. I can always come in here and see what people are doing. Um, so and I have and I have the authority to to fill people out of the studio if they don't follow the rules <coughs> in here. So so after a year they just got 
out and got somewhere else in town. So, so mainly we, we got good people coming here for the music. Um, so mostly it's, uh, it's, it's a nice job. With people playing way too loud, that the, it's not healthy for their ears either. Uh, and then I come in and, uh, and tell them about the rules, that, uh, that things have to be worked uh, normally. I mean, it's not normally to hear things at uh, 200 dB. <laughs> Uh, so you can hear outside this, this, uh, these walls, I mean, they are, they are soundproof. <laughs> so they had to really hear this uh, uh, get up high. So uh, we tried that one or two times, but that's okay. I mean, they are young people and they want to check things out, so that's okay. Uh, but, uh, but mostly people are, are good people here. Maybe we're even getting a little uh, voice box, a little wall where, where when you make vocals, you can go into a little behind the wall uh, and get separated from the speakers. Um, maybe it's 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 still under uh, the drawing board. Uh, how we are going to to manage the new studio, but but we're. We're having the studio over there with mostly the same uh, equipment and maybe a little uh, mini studio beside this studio. Um, but let's see about that. There's a, it's a, it's a little key thing for, for the library because uh, it is active people coming here, people who, who are actively playing singing or producing or writing music so so we get people in the house that want music in, in all levels so so that way we are we are getting good <laughs> good people in in our library and that's a good thing for for all the other customers in the library that uh, these young people they have they have a they have a reason for being here and, uh, and they are active on our stage and in the studio. And we got our instrumental zone upstairs where they can play live on instruments, uh, rehearsing, or just, or just find together. It's, it's, it's an open room where you can go in and pick up an instrument and you can play with the other guy who just took up the bass and you don't know him, but then suddenly you sit and play a little, a jam a little. Uh, uh, so, so it's it's uh, it's it's a life-giving uh, thing f for the music library that that these people come into the library because they are active in a way. They they and, and we got our small spots with uh, with pianos too, where where people can pick a, a notebook and sit by the piano and play. Uh, and see if, if this is the right note for you, okay? And we have uh, a few pianos around uh, the house where you can borrow headphones and sit down and play. And that's a good thing too. We got our first days, uh, what we call library live, and we got library live recordings uh, where we can record the live sessions on our stage. Or else we got the library live thing, uh, where local upcoming bands, songwriters, singers can come to our stage and and, and perform in the afternoon uh, for free, of course. It is it, it is very important that we have a room for all our equipment, mixers, cables, microphones, and and stuff like that. Now we're having a concert later today, um, so so in, in in a minute I have to go to this room, find microphones, and uh, mic up the grand. We got a grand piano out there. We have to mic that up, and there'll be a singer too, and everything has to be set up before they come. 
and so they can go right on stage and we have a, some light that has to be set to. And it, it's good because it's, it's, it's nearby, so you can run in and out the door and get things. Uh, as you as, as you need them, you have to have that. Yeah, yeah. I hope you uh, you get some good things with you back and and uh, and you can upgrade your own studio uh, to get more young people in to inspire and and be an inspiration for for young people uh, that they have the possibility to to create and and to know digital music as a how to record and how to take things in and out of a computer yeah in a creative creative way that's good yeah and i wish you best up in finland good luck with it all <laughs>